Number one is Splash Party. This one can only work if you live in a hotter area or for us in the summer months, which I guess it's a little hot for us today. But this is something to where you can just grab some stuff from Dollar Tree. The buckets are from Dollar Tree. The wands are from Dollar Tree. The splash balls are from Dollar Tree. And the slingshots. And somebody's throwing them at faces like they're not supposed to. I'm not throwing them at faces. But this is something that they can do that where they can get wet and cool off in the hotter months and they're still physically active. I mean, name another time when kids willingly run from each other without hurting each other. Number two is bubbles. This one is fairly inexpensive. Most of the bubble ones that they're currently playing with were kits that came from Dollar Tree. The ones with the longer ones, you have to buy them individually like they are. Although if she keeps doing it like that, they actually will break and come apart from their thing. But sometimes they'll go back together. The ones with the shorter ones, actually you can sometimes get in multiple packs. But this one is just a super fun one for, and on windy days it's even more fun because then they can literally just hold the wands up and they'll just blow. Number three is nature exploring. Literally, what I'll sometimes do is just let them come out here and just let them pick stuff. Like, they take the wagon around the yard and as she has right now, you can see that thing is full of acorns. So they sometimes set them out for the squirrels, sometimes they bring them in and use them as decor. Number four is chores. Now, that sounds crazy, but there's some chores that are physically active and there's some times that we're just short on time and there's chores that need to be done. And sometimes they volunteer and say, hey mom, during PE time, can I do this chore? Rebecca's today is she wanted to sweep the driveway after Matt and I mowed. So she's out there sweeping. I have one who's bathing the dog and fix him to after he gets a bath. Cause if you don't, he just, he'll shake inside. And he prefer, like he loves it. He loves to go for that run after a shower. So he's, he's getting a shower bath, whatever now. So after that, they're gonna be running. I have one who, when the dog gets a bath, his bedding gets shaken out. They have to sweep where they shake his bedding out outside. That's a lot of back and forth and in and out. So sometimes it's just chores and just little things like that. Um, another chore that they like to do is before we mow, they pick up logs, they pick up sticks, they pick up rocks, they pick up where um, people drive by and throw their trash out the window and little things like that too. So it's not like every day, hey, we're gonna use PE as an excuse to do chores. It's occasional. This is what we're doing for PE today. And again, like I said, I didn't tell her to go sweep the driveway. She wanted to. There's some stuff that she does that I'm just like, you know what, I'm not gonna argue it because I got somebody who's willing to do it. So that was their PE today.